Hey, what's going on, students? Let's do the dumped, frumpy face. What do we got here? We got to match each expression to the correct simplified form. So let's zoom in a little bit. Can we do that? Yeah, there we go. Wow, movie magic. All right, so we got to take a 5x times a 3x. So if the big kids do multiplication, that's going to be a 15. And then there's an x to the 1, x to the 1, so that'll be an x squared. So 15x squared, there you are. Gotcha, here we go. Number two is a 5x plus a 3x. So five things plus three things is gonna equal eight things. Notice when you do addition, the uh, variable stays a regular x. The only thing that upgrades exponents is multiplication. Addition has no, 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 no impact on exponents. This is just a regular 8x, there you are, right there. Okay, so remember, if the so it's kind of a neat little idea here. If the big kids are doing multiplication, the little kids are doing addition. Well, if the big kids are doing addition, there is no operation below that for the exponents to do, the little kids. The little kids have nothing to do, so they just don't do anything. All right, so a little neat idea. Frying pan rules. 5x to the third power would be a 5 to the third x to the third. 5 to the third power, I believe, is 125. So 1, 2, 5 x to the third power. There you are right there. We have a 3x to the fifth power. That would be a 3 to the fifth. x to the 5. Ooh, 3 to the fifth power, I think, is a big old number. I think it's 243 x to the fifth. So here we go, right there. We got them. I'm going to write it out because it's right there. And then 15x. None of you turn into a 15x, so there she goes right there. All right, cool. That's about it, friends. Um, that's the dumped frumpy face. Just follow your rules. Big kids multiply, little kids add. Five things plus three things, and then your frying pan rules, and then one of them, one of the options does not have an original expression. All right, cool, that's it.